So I'm sure you've heard the most important things when it comes to running an agency is outreach and sales and service delivery. But one of the things that YouTubers don't really tell you is all the stuff that happens in the background that makes your lives 10 times easier. And I'm basically talking about all the tools and softwares that basically run our entire business and make sure that we don't have to work like 15 hour days every single day doing basic tasks. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you every single software and tool that I've used to grow my agency from zero to 10K per month, as well as how much they cost and you know whether you should use them as well. So I've used a bunch of different tools for pretty much every part of my agency, you know, outreach, sales, service delivery, client and team communication, payments and contracts, pretty much everything. And honestly, I probably wouldn't have gotten this far without any of them. Now, first of all, why would you even use tools and software to run your agency? So obviously, first of all, it saves time, helps you automate processes, helps you integrate all different platforms, Forms, and it also helps you build systems and workflows for your VA and the rest of your team. Now, another really good thing about having a bunch of good software is that it helps you run your agency a lot more smoothly. Like payments and contracts are way smoother. You don't have to chase clients for your payments every month. Your communication is a lot more seamless and also having the right tools in place also makes your agency a lot more professional looking. Now, there are downsides to having a bunch of different tools and softwares. First of all, the biggest one is the cost, really. Most of your tools will cost you upwards of 30 to $40 a month. Some of them even up to $100 per month, like ClickFunnels, for example. And on top of that, there is going to be a slight learning curve, not just for you, but also for your team when you train them to use each of the tools. There's also a bunch of different accounts you have to manage. Like if you have 20 different tools, you can have 20 different logins, 20 different passwords. Most of them will allow you to integrate with Google, but it's still kind of a pain in the ass. And finally, there's a good chance you're going to have to try a bunch of different tools before you actually find the one that's a good fit for you and for your agency and for your clients and service. So I organize these by kind of the segment or function in my business or in my agency so that you guys can kind of get a good idea of how they can fit into your business. And just to be very clear, I'm not sponsored by any of these companies. I don't work with any of them on like a business level. I just basically use them and I'm sharing with what works for me. So let's start with outreach. First of all, before you even start outreaching, you have to actually find leads. So when I started out, I actually bought a bunch of leads from a tool called Built With. This is basically like a technology lookup tool. In other words, it allows you to find a bunch of websites that use a specific technology like Shopify or Kajabi. And this works really well for online businesses. Now you can get creative, you know, use this for other businesses like looking up businesses that use ActiveCampaign or ConvertKit or whatever you can find or think of, just get creative with it. But this is a very useful tool, especially for online businesses. I paid around $300 for around 60,000 leads and it was quite worth the money for me. I've gained quite a number of clients from it. And so yeah, if you're doing e-com or you're doing info products, you know, very, very good website to use. And of course there are other technology lookups out there. Built With is just the one that I use, but if you Google it, you'll find a bunch. Next, when it comes to actually verifying the leads for me to actually reach out to, one tool we used is Snove.io. So Snove.io we use as a Chrome extension. You can basically use it on any website. And once you use it, it can actually find all the emails that are associated with that domain. So once you know what domain your prospect is on, they'll show you every single person with email that, that connects to that domain. So like Brian at youtube.com. That's, I don't work at YouTube. I'm a YouTuber. But yeah, this is a really good tool for just finding email addresses and especially for finding the owner's email. And the next tool we use is something called Neverbounce. So this is a kind of paid tool. You do have to pay a little bit of money, but what we use it for is basically verifying whether an email address is valid. So once you find an email from Snow.io, we run it through Neverbounce and we check whether the email address is valid. Now, another thing we'll do with Neverbounce is actually get emails, right? Because a lot of the time you're not going to find email through a tool like Snob.io. You're going to have to actually guess it through their first name, last name, and a different combination of those. And what we use is we actually use Neverbounce to verify every single one. And it'll tell us whether the email is valid. We paid, I think, $50 for 10,000 email credits. So basically each credit allows you to check one email. So it's a pretty good deal. If you really need to check for emails, it's totally worth the money. Next, of course, is Google Sheets. It's free, pretty straightforward. You're going to be using Google Sheets for pretty much everything. I don't recommend using anything offline like Excel or whatever. Um, of course, there are online versions of Excel, but Google Sheets is just easily integratable with everything else that you have. Now, next on this list is Lemlist. So this is a very, very useful tool. I don't know there are really any other alternatives out there at the moment, but basically this is what we use for sending cold emails to our prospects. Now, while this is very useful, there are a few things you have to keep in mind, right? You can't just dump a bunch of email leads in there and just start sending them out en masse. So you have to make sure that you have a few things set up. So your DMARC records, your DKIM, your SPF, I don't really remember all the different things, but make sure that your domain is set up properly and primed for actually sending cold emails. And again, I don't really know of any other softwares. Um, I know GMAS is free, but I think it only really works for sending cold emails through Gmail rather than like your own custom domain. And Lendless costs $60 per month for the basic plan. The next thing you have to do is actually warm up your email before you even start setting them out. So I think a lot of beginners get this wrong. They just start setting stuff out. They don't realize that, you know, a lot of their emails just end up landing in spam. So one thing you have to make sure you do is warm up your email domain, especially if you just created it very recently. Even if you didn't create it recently, you still want to warm it up. And the way you do this is you, you can use a warm up tool. So Lendless has their own version of 
that are called Lemworms, $30 per month. There's another one called warmbox.ai. I think it's like 20 bucks per month per account. And basically what it'll do is still basically send a bunch of emails between your accounts and other accounts back and forth over like a long period of time each day. And over time, you'll kind of ramp up the volume so that it actually looks like you're, you have a real email address. And you want to do this for at least 30 days. So one to two months, that's like 30 to 60 bucks. That's going to be enough for you to warm up a new domain. And again, GMAS is another tool you can use that's free. But again, I think it only really works for Gmail accounts, not so much for custom email addresses or custom domains. The next tool we use, of course, is Gmail slash Google Workspace. I think the price is like $6 per user per month. Right now I have, I think, five or six users. Plus I have two extra domains. So this is costing me like $50 to $60 per month. But again, it's really worth it. It integrates with pretty much all the tools you use. I mean, you don't really need to have such a big plan right away. Just $6 per month is going to be enough for you to basically get set up with the basics. And finally, of course, when it comes to emailing, you have to buy a domain, right? I think Google domains cost like $15 per year. I think there's cheaper options out there like Ionos or something. It's like $1 for their first year. I have no idea. I just pay the full price right out of the gate. I don't really care, right? $15 per year. You're going to have much bigger expenses down the road anyways. Now let's talk about sales. So first of all, my favorite tool is Calendly. So Calendly is pretty much the bread and butter for anyone that runs that sales calls or discovery calls or anything like that. You can ask screening questions on it. It's very convenient for scheduling. You can integrate it with stuff. There are alternatives out there like acuity scheduling. I just don't care to explore them because, you know, Calendly is what everyone uses. It's what a lot of prospects are used to. So I just use that. I think it's $10 per month for the basic plan. I'm, I'm paying for $15 per month and I think I get some more automations out of that or something. But yeah, it's not too expensive. Next is Zoom. Another one of my favorites. Works really well. Pretty much the gold standard out there for, you know, video conference or video calls. You can definitely use it for free. I was using it for free for the first like three months, but then I realized that some of my calls were actually getting cut off because the thing is once you reach your time limit, it'll actually count down for like five minutes and it'll kick everyone out of the room. Like I was actually talking with prospects on the phone and they would go over an hour and the call would just end. Needless to say, I didn't get those clients, but I really didn't want to go through that again. So I was like, Fuck it, I'm just going to pay for like the $15 per month plan. I think I got like some offer for like a hundred bucks a year, but yeah, just save yourself the pain. <laughs> Don't go through the same shit that I did. But again, Zoom for free definitely does work for most people. And finally, of course, is Google Calendar for actually scheduling calls, both with prospects and with your teams and, you know, just ongoing client stuff. Again, it just integrates really well with pretty much everything. Of course, it's free, but yeah, that's what I use for scheduling stuff. All right, so now let's talk about some of the more administrative stuff that is still very, very important for keeping your agency running smoothly. So first of all is onboarding. So there's two main tools that I use here. First of all is ClickFunnels. So ClickFunnels, it's not cheap, right? It's a hundred bucks a month. There are a lot of other cheap, much cheaper website builders out there. I do recommend you go with the cheaper ones, especially if you're just starting out. But I use ClickFunnels. I know I'm going to be using it for a while anyway, so I decided to just go with it from the start. So what I use ClickFunnels for is actually creating a multi-step onboarding process for my clients to go through when they first sign with me. So the whole purpose of this is for me to get all the information I need and to also basically set up all the accounts and all the other stuff on the back end. So what I'll do is get them to set up their accounts, give me all the information, and I'll get them to fill out a questionnaire, which is a very detailed questionnaire, which gives me all the answers about their the marketing, their business and whatever. And I'll also remind them to just, you know, do any last minute administrative tasks before we actually start working together. But yeah, I find it to be very helpful. It basically gives you a lot of confidence on your sales calls because it allows you to just say, hey, I'll just send you this link once we, once we sign on and you can basically get started with us within like two days, which is always very nice to have. The next piece of that is Google Forms, which is actually what I use for the whole onboarding questionnaire. You know, I find it to be more than sufficient. It's free, of course, and gets the job done for the most part. So now let's talk about payments and contracts. I know a lot of beginners kind of get stuck on this sometimes. So for the payment processor, I use Stripe. Pretty much everyone uses Stripe unless you're in a country where Stripe doesn't work. In that case, I can't help you. I'm in Canada. We use Stripe. But yeah, it works really well. There's not really any like payment issues I find. And most people are, and it makes your process a lot easier and it can integrate with a lot of different tools. Now on top of Stripe, you actually want to have a payment or invoice creator or manager. So Stripe is actually what processes the payments. But when it comes to invoicing and just making things look smoother and making the payment process a lot more seamless for your clients, you actually want to use a set separate tool. So there's a bunch of different tools out there. I use PayFunnels. It's 30 bucks a month. But yeah, again, I would do my research. I'm sure there are cheaper options out there. Stripe also has its own invoicing like function, but it's not quite as automated and you do have to like play around with things. But again, if you don't want to spend money, just invoice using Stripe. And finally, you also want to have a tool for your contracts. So I use um, something called HelloSign. I think they rebranded to Dropbox Sign or something. But again, there's a bunch of different alternatives out there. Panda Docs, um, DocuSign. But you want some place to actually manage and hold your contracts and be able to like send contracts out to your client 
clients and to yourself to sign when you're you know doing the whole onboarding process because when you don't have that it makes you look unprofessional and it's just kind of a pain in the ass as well so i think the tool costs 20 dollars a month and it's not cheap for a beginner but again of course you know you can do this manually for free as a beginner but again 20 dollars a month is just not worth my time or probably even yours to be honest all right next is probably the big question for many of you which is service delivery right so this will obviously vary for every single person every single clients or not even client agency service niche whatever but there are going to be a few things that are common for most people but i'll just tell you what mine is so i do youtube ads right so the main kind of tool or platform we use is google ads manager in your case it's probably going to be facebook ads um, it's probably going to be like youtube or tiktok or whatever you use for a lot of you it's also going to be go high level if you're doing like local lead gen for clients now most of these platforms are going to be free of course you have to pay for the actual advertising spend i think go high level will cost you anywhere from i don't know i have no idea what the price is I, but i know it can be anywhere from like 50 to like you know 500 bucks a month some other tools we use is premiere pro and photoshop i'm um, to obviously you know do graphics and videos for our clients technically you're supposed to pay for them i don't know what my editor does so <laughs> whatever now, the next piece is actually quite important which is communication so communication is going to be basically like 90 percent of what you're really doing day to day right you're going to be talking to your team you're going to be talking to your clients maybe even talking to your clients customers depending on what you're actually doing for them and we use a few tools here so first of all is slack slack is honestly great you can integrate with a bunch of stuff and the best part is it's free there are paid plans that let you do more stuff but you can survive i'm still using the free plan and i think you can pretty much survive off of it for as long as you need to and i use slack for all client communications i use it for internal team communication communications and we basically have everything in one place just to make our lives a lot easier. The next tool that I really like when it comes to communication is Loom. So if you don't know what Loom is, Loom is basically a screen recording software where you can also show your face and speak on camera. And it's really, really good for showing someone how to do something or sending like cold outreach and basically anything that requires video. And it's helpful to have a face and a voice too. And Loom, you can use it for free, I think, but I think it's very limited. I pay $10 per month for it. You know, it gets the job done. It's totally worth it. Like it's unlimited videos, unlimited recordings and, you know, recording times and it, we've used it for a lot of different things and again this is just a repeat but we do use zoom for communications obviously and it can be free but we do pay ten dollars per month for it or 15 or something whatever and finally the last section or category of my business that i use tools for is just my internal operations or like my workflows right so the first tool we use uh, which we are trying to get more use out of is asana so asana is one of those like workflow project management tools which it's very user friendly like i'm really just starting to integrate into my business at the beginning we weren't really using it for too much i was just using it to kind of keep track of stuff but i actually have someone helping me manage it on the back end now now if you're a beginner i don't think asana is like totally necessary i think only when you have a bigger team you have a lot of clients that's when you really have to manage your projects and workflows right but honestly i survived pretty much without it for my first three to five months and it's not totally necessary now it is free for most of its basic functions in fact i could say you could probably use it for your business very effectively with the free plan but there are a lot of convenient functions with the paid plan we're still using the free one i will look into probably using the paid one in the future but again i don't really have too much to say about this at the moment because we are still learning how to use it the next thing we like to use is notion so i have it written down here as free but i actually did upgrade to the paid plan which is like five bucks per month per user recently um that's just to basically put all my sops and all my documents in one place google drive is obviously a free option i just didn't like the way it looked it's kind of a pain in the ass to navigate notion is a lot more user friendly it looks nicer and you can kind of see everything in one place with nice designs <laughs> which you know is always nice when you're trying to manage a team and make people's lives easier and finally again google docs and google sheets google drive we use it for our clients files it's not like we only use notion we definitely use google drive for storage and i'm using it pretty much every single day and again it's free so yeah that's pretty much it let me know if i miss anything again there's a lot of tools they are going to cost money especially once you start scaling up but you know they've saved me definitely like hundreds of hours of time so you know once you can i would definitely invest in them if it makes sense for what you're doing with your business but yeah hope this helps let me know in the comments what you guys think and i'll see you in the next video. And yes, I am standing in this video, by the way, in case you guys noticed.